Hello everybody, this is me, Super Morning DJ, and welcome to another review video. And today I'm going to be reviewing three of the Simba Super Mario plushies, uh, with these three being re related to Yoshi. Uh, so yeah, so I have three out of the supposed five, um, and I say that because I've seen prom like promotional images of them, but I haven't seen them in my in the in the wild yet. Um, and those two that I mentioned are Red Yoshi and Pink Yoshi. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can find them soon so I can come, so I can get all of them together. Um, but yeah, but for now I have three of them and I'm kind of fine with that. Um, so yeah. So, I have three of them as I said earlier and again, uh, green, yellow, and light blue. And yeah, we're just gonna take a look at them and see how they compare to each other and whatnot, I guess. <laughs> um, so anyway, so let's start off with green. Uh, put the, the basic Yoshi. And the Yoshi that I that I like probably the most. Um, red is up there, but I don't know. I I I, I always like sticking with the original. <laughs> so here's here's Yoshi. Pretty adorable, I will say. Um, he's in his he's in a uh, standing pose. He's not like the he's not like the Sine punches where he's sitting down, which I do have to appreciate that it's a little bit different than your other Yoshi plushies. Actually, I would say I think the Jack Pacific one also has him in the in a standing pose. Uh, so yeah, so there's Yoshi. You can see his eyes. They're stitched on there. Same with his nose or nostrils. A big old nose. There you can see the side of him. His orange shoes. The the red shell. Orange hair on the back. He's very soft too. I will say. And fluffy. Well, I don't. I don't want to say fluffy, but like he he feels very stuffed, you know. Um. So yeah. Oh. There's the bottom of him, of his uh, feet, or shoes, the tail. And uh, yeah, honestly, I I can't really say much. As again, it is just a Yoshi plush. Not really much is going on here. But I will say it is adorable. I really do love this plush. Um. So when you buy them, they'll sometimes probably come with a tag. Oh, whatever this thing is. They, they will ha they will all come with a tag. So here's the tag. You can see Super Mario, Simba on the back. Some more information. A bunch of general information in there. Safety and whatnot. And uh, yeah. And what the cool thing is that comparing it to Mario, they are almost the same exact state, uh, scale or height. And then when you compare them to Luigi, also almost the same height. And what I do love about this is that I think they are like game accurate, so you can have like, if you want, if you're playing with them, you can have Yoshi, uh, Luigi riding on a Yoshi, and it actually looks normal, you know? It looks like, it looks game accurate, and not like a big Luigi plush is riding on Yoshi or whatever. Same with Mario, you can do the same thing, you know? Oh, if we can sort of get them to stick on together. <laughs> I will say this, Simba, make, make these kind of plushies. <laughs> Do what Sine did, and have a uh, Mario and Luigi riding a, a Yoshi plush. So yeah, so that's so that's green. Yoshi can't really say much about that. Um, I, I can't really say anything else. Um, going on to light yo uh no not, I'll save this one for last. Going on to ye yellow Yoshi, close to red red Yoshi, <laughs> but I still haven't found him yet. So for now, I'll have to stick with yellow. I will say I do love the yellow color scheme a little bit, um, but still, still not my favorite out of the bunch. Um, so the, sa the same thing with the with the green Yoshi plush. His eyes are stitched, the nostrils are stitched, um, all orange tail, red shell. The only difference is that he's yellow and he has green shoes. Um, so yeah, so you can see his fingers. Uh, and again, the big nose. Look at that big nose. <laughs> and I think that, and I'm pretty sure the shoes have like some sort of cardboard at the bottom. I know they can't stand, obviously, because they're plushies. Um, but they do have something at the bottom of their feet. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I forgot to show this on the other, on the green Yoshi, but here's the Super Mario tag on the plush itself. And again, a little hook, 
hood for, you know, to, I guess, hang them on your wall. Oh, obviously, you're going to see them in retail stores, um, at least over here in the European region, like UK, um, Italy. I, I know, I, I don't know too much about my <laughs> geography stuff, so be bear with me. Uh, but but you see them hanging on the shelf with these tags, uh, with this little hood. So yeah. And uh, yeah, with that is basically it for Yellow Yoshi. Sorry if I can't really say too much about them, except you know for what I've already said. Um, besides them also being soft too, it's just again these are these are Yoshi's and there's not really too much going on with them. Last but not least, we have is. Light blue Yoshi. Now I will say the light blue is starting to, starting to grow on me. Um, I don't know why. I just I just sort of like the I just sort of like the color. Um, so like the other two Yoshis, again his eyes are stitched on or embroidered on. I don't, I don't really know which one is which. Same with his nostrils, with the bigger nose. Uh, it's a with the difference. On this Yoshi being he's light blue and he has purple shoes. So again, you can see his stomach. Uh, I guess the you can see his mouth in a way. There's his fingers. The red shell. You know, black fuzz on there. <laughs> the almond tail and the tail. Um. So yeah. Same, same thing as the others. He's soft. There's also what appears to be cardboard at the bottom here. And, uh, yeah. That's really all I can say. So, with that, that, that concludes the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And let me know what your thoughts are in, in the comments below. Do you love these plushies? Do you hate them? Um, if you lived over in the... European region, would you get these? Um, guys, same as Mario and Luigi and DK, Bowser, Fire Mario, Tanuki, uh, no, not Tanuki, Raccoon Mario, um, Toad. Actually, I have to go get Toad, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get, get him soon. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are because I'm, I'm starting to love these plushies each and more. They're unique. I will say it does like that they're not coming to the US, um, but I don't know if that's just because Jack Pacific. Is the only one that has sort of any rights to sell to sell in the U.S. or what? Because I, I would say it is close to see other countries have their own versions of Mario uh, Mario plushies, um, and I and I don't really know why. Yes, I do see Jack Pacific plushies too, um, but I don't see these guys back in the states. So I'm sort of curious as to why that is. Um, but yeah. That's gonna be it for me. Um, I'm not gonna ramble anymore. If you do live over, here, if you do, if you do live over here and like the and again, European regions or whatever, any any retail store that sells these, I would I definitely recommend picking them up if you're a Mario fan. Um, I sort of pay between twelve to fifteen euros each. Um, so like, uh, twelve ninety eight euros, twelve ninety eight euros, fourteen ninety eight euros for some reason for Green Yoshi. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely a good price for them. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. This is Simple Monet 19J signing out.